Hello, baseballers. I'm Colonel Failure, and you are back once again with the Electro Sports League and Bulldozer Power. Uh, we're ready up for our next game, uh, which will be against Colonel School. Uh, now, Colonel School only have a 2-6 and six record uh, for this particular game, uh, but their starting pitch will be Nomad Gunslinger, and they'll hope that the likes of Sharp, Francisco, and Nexus can make the difference uh, that will get them another win. Bulldozer Power, of course, will be attempting to not allow that to happen. You know, perhaps, unsurprisingly, there. Uh, we've got one lineup change to make before the game. Uh, Trace Attitude is uh, in need of a rest, so we'll swap her out. And that means that Steve Murray is back in the lineup for the first time in a couple of weeks. Uh, let's hope he can make a bit of a difference. Uh, we'll have the Professor, who will be leading us off today from the mound. Let's get to the ball game. Well, it's a beautiful evening because every evening's beautiful. If it was raining, we wouldn't be playing now, would we? Oh, that's a ridiculous thing to say. Uh, the uh, subdued and, nay, camouflaged Colonel School logo, they're barely visible at all. We have upped the difficulty to 49, one point short of where we were getting absolutely rinsed, uh, one point over where we were doing quite nicely. Anyway, it looks like... Uh, the Colonel School are up to bat first, and it's Tola Cram uh, who is first at bat. 192 average for the season for him so far. Let's see what the Professor is made of. Well, that one's gone foul. I don't mind that. That's okay. You're allowed to go foul. Foul is perfectly acceptable. Let's uh, uh, throw in a slidey. And strike two. And then we'll finish him off with the curveball. We won't finish him off with anything. Cindy makes a dive, but nothing comes of it. Uh, that's going to be a throw to second, but the damage is done. Tyler Cram there getting on base. Uh, here comes Nexus, Nexus, and uh, she's looking pretty good. Three home runs for her this season, and uh, she'll be hoping to uh, add to that tally this evening. And obviously, we don't... Bubble Jet making a move. That's a heck of a place to put the ball, and that's going to be tricky. Throw to third is late. Doesn't do the damage. Uh, so, uh, Colonel School already getting off to a good start. Here's Hooker's Trebor, uh, who's uh, in his dark glasses. I tell you what, he looks great in this uniform. That is a, that is a good look on him. And uh, we'll be hoping we can actually, you know, put a stop to this kind of behaviour. Anyway, that's strike one. Feet him. A bit rattled, maybe. Strike two. That was nice, too. And... Ball one. Oh, it wasn't to be the, the professor there, not quite delivering the, the last pitch. But that one will do, and the professor gets his first strike out of the night as uh, Jack Sharp comes up to, uh, to see what he can do next. Uh, two runs battered in for him this season. And, uh, well, there you go. No, I, don't, I don't really have any more news for you than that. I, I read the stats. I try and make it sound like it's uh, authentic. And then, uh, and then we move on to throwing the thing down the whatnot and uh, see how we get on. Well, that's strike one and ball two now. Uh, the Professor not quite in the zone yet. There's ball three. That one, I, th I thought that one was legit. That's not good. Uh, the Professor there not hitting his patch particularly well. And as a batter walked, that does not happen very often. Here's Cappy Snaggles, uh, who's going to be uh, next at the plate. Flipping it, stick your bottom out a little bit more wide, don't you? That one's up in the air. Uh, Tintin's making a move underneath it. He's there. He's got it. Uh, we'll chuck that one a third. Prevent any uh, any further movement. Right, Lando Sandwalker is uh, is up next. Those those glasses really don't fit him very well, but it doesn't seem to bother him. He's uh, he's giving it a go. There's strike one. Uh, fashion is of course in the eye of the. Uh, the, the wearer. Uh, strike two. That was a nice pitch. That was not a nice pitch, which is why it was tattooed into the foul zone. That one was alright. Fail is going to be there. And that's out number three. Uh, a good save there from an inning that could have gone very badly the wrong way. They managed to load up the bases, but didn't manage to get a, get a run. So, uh, so here's Cindy Vapid. And uh, she's been in, she's been okay as our uh, as our new lead off batter. We'll soak up the first one. Down that's a ball. That one's not a ball. That's gone foul. It could have been, but wasn't. That one, however, has gone straight into centre field, and Cindy will advance to first base, which is a delight for everybody, not least of all Cindy, 
who uh, really does benefit from the mojo boost there. Here's Bingo Hazmat. Uh, he's, uh, he's maybe just a smidge under the weather, but his, uh, his mood should offset that. Uh, ball one there. And that one's, that one's ball two there. That one there, that was ball three. Hmm. And that was strike one. Bingo is just uh, just soaking up all the pitches here. Let's strike two. He's loving the pressure. And that one was out. I was pretty certain that was going to be a ball. Uh, Bingo taking six pitches and, uh, and didn't get anything from it. Uh, here's Bam Bam. Well, she goes for the first one and uh, announces her presence with authority. That's a very nice piece of fielding. Bam Bam will get on base, but Cindy's run out, advancing to second. A uh, bit of a shame. Here's Shamrock Bubble Jet, hoping to salvage something from this inning. Well, he's he's chipped that one. I'm not sure it's going to be safe. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, no. It's just foul. It's just a foul ball. It's absolutely fine. But now he's swinging at everything. That's strike two. Well, he's got a good chunk out of that one, but it's not long enough, and he's going to get caught, and that's the side retired. Well, <clears throat> ball has a power coming out, uh, giving it a go, but ultimately not getting anywhere with it. Uh, next up to bat is uh, DJ Paul Chidder, and uh, he's, uh, sorry, Chidi is, is how you pronounce that. No, I've, I've been practising. Anyway, he's going to face the professor, who is uh, still still looking to find his mojo. Nice bit of save by uh, Cindy there. Throw to first. Batter out. He's, he's Mew. Uh, he's tense and looking a little bit nervous. I'd look nervous too if I was sporting facial hair like that. Well, OK. He shouldn't have looked nervous because he's done rather well with that one. That's a home run. Well, I've, I mean, the, the pitch wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. Uh, but the damage is done there. He's Mew there with his second home run of the season. And uh, that gets the scoring underway as Colonel School now have one run. Here's the pitcher, Nomad Gunslinger. Uh, actually, not a bad batter is, uh, is the Gunslinger. But we'll, uh, we'll see what he makes of the, the pitches that are emanating from the, the uh, hand of Feetum. Uh, not a lot, apparently. No, he, he just tapped that one to Feetum. He throws to first. Uh, it's Cram back up for his second at bat. He got a single last time round. He's chewing gum, which is a delightful habit, and many more people should do it. That one's gone foul. And that one, Tintin makes a move. Doesn't. Apparently that's fair. Ah, oh, flipping out. I hate it when I go over here. Failure's going to throw it to second, but uh, Tyler Cram's already there. He's, uh, he's having a tremendous evening so far. And uh, we do, we're just going to have to make sure that he doesn't actually get any runs. That way he'll be disappointed. Is Nexus. Bam Bam with the dive. Nothing doing. Oh, and Veronica could not get to the ball in time. That's going to let a, uh, a run in there as Nexus gets a double off that one. Colonel School now two runs. And here's Tree Ball's hooker. Nothing in first time round and his, uh, his mood is now a little bit uneasy. Strike one. Yeah, be uneasy, mate. Be uneasy. He's had a good go at the uh, at the curve there, but that's caught, and that's the side retired. Two runs for Colonel School, leaving Bulldozer Power playing catch-up. And it is Veronica Hammock, uh, who has been something of a revelation for the team in the last couple of weeks, but uh, we'll see how she gets on here. Strike one. I see. It's one of those referees again, is it? I'm flipping it. What are you doing swinging at that? Okay, Veronica there, immediately caught out at first, bringing up failure, uh, who's, uh, who's had a decent season of late, but uh, is going to have to pull something out of the bag here, otherwise uh, the, the bulldozer power are going to be dreadfully behind and uh, failure gets a hit that will land him on first. So, uh, well, okay, consolation prize there. Not a big hitter. Back in the side, Steve Morrie, 333 for the season and a home run. Uh, we'll... Uh, We'll see if he is uh, is still rusty after a couple of weeks cooling his heels. That is not a strike. On what planet is that a flipping strike? Steve had enough of watching strikes go past him, belted that one into the wine bar and, uh, and disrupted the diners there who were enjoying a nice creme brulee. 
at the end of their meal as uh, Steve Morey announces his return to the team with a two-run homer from his first at-bat. Here's Tintin Hollywood, who, uh, who has uh, ten runs batted in this season. Strike one. This strike zone is all over the place. That is not a strike. Well, Tintin just, you know, flails at that one and he's going to get run out uh, heading the first base, which is where he usually lives. And here's the professor to round out the team. Well, whatever happens here, the professor can do no wrong. Flip it, professor. He's going, yeah, I'll win this whole, this whole thing on my own if I have to. And uh, the professor there hitting a double. Well, I hadn't expected that. Perhaps I should have. The professor is a mean individual, no doubt. His Cindy Vapid got on base last time. Everything to play for. Are you sure that wasn't a strike? Oh, no, it felt like it was in the strike zone as much as anything else we've seen so far. Uh, Cindy there belligerently smacking that one into the audience. That's nice. I don't think it's got the distance. And that would be because it hasn't. Cindy there caught out deep in centre field, and that's the side retired. Uh, scores all square at the end of the bottom. Uh, the, at the end of the bottom, yes. That's that's where we are. The end of the bottom is where we are, and the sides are level. They're nowhere near the end or the bottom. This is Jack Sharp now. We're facing off against the Professor. Uh, we've got strike one. That one was a little bit high. Are you going to rule that one fair? No. No, no. And, uh, and that brings up strike two. And now it's just a question of fooling this clown and getting him out. And he was fooled and he's out as a result of it. The professor there uh, knowing exactly how to play this game. His cappy snaggles. Uh, she didn't do so well first time around. Uh, possibly overbalanced there due to uh, the derriere being used as some kind of counterweight. That one's gone reasonably well. Bam Bam again with the dive, but nothing came of it. It's gone to centre field. Veronica throws to second. Batter on first, and up comes Lando Sandwalker with his terrible face. All right, here we go. Lando Sandwalker didn't do anything first time. Strike one. And uh, an attempted steal there. That was what that uh, excitement noise was. Uh, but nothing nothing doing there from the uh, attempted steal because it went foul. And that's another strikeout for the Professor. Steve Morey there looking uh, as efficient and authoritarian as he always does uh, from his position there behind home plate. And there's another strike. Featham really is in the zone now. Forget I spoke. That one's gone out to left field. Bingo's on top of it. Runner advances to second with another one on first. We've got a couple of runners. Uh, here's his here's, here's Mew. Uh, hit a home run first time round. Tempted to throw it at his head so he can't do it again. No, he's had a go at that. That's a foul. Foulerino. Foulzord. And he swung at the second one. And that was another terrible pitch, incidentally. And that one was also gone foul. Can Feetum finish him? No. Uh, managed to get just enough of that for the ball to go foul rather than be missed. That's not bad. Cindy with the catch. Throws the second side of time. And uh, at the uh, bottom half of the third inning. I, I, it's, it's the bottom of the third, right? Yeah. Scores are tied. Here come. Bulldozer power. Bingo has man. He got struck out last time. But he did. Uh, it did take six pitches to get to that stage. He didn't swing his bat once, you know. Oh, the pitcher could have had that one very easily, uh, but Bingo just uh, nudged it just beyond the diamond and uh, advanced to first base. Here's Bam Bam, caught out last time. Let's, uh, let's see if she can uh, do a little bit better. That's ball one. There's ball two. Uh, that one's in the crowd. Ball two, strike one now. That was a strike, apparently. There you go. Bam Bam is now swinging away. That's ball three. The count is full. Bam Bam poised, anxious, slapping it. That one's gone very foul as well. Nope, yep, good. Bam Bam there. Still looking for a first hit today. 
Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, what a truly suckered Bam Bam Pakai. Uh, swung well early and uh, goes to sit down. Uh, we're looking at the mad staring eyes of the catcher there. It's uh, not even slightly disappointing. Here's Shamrock. Uh, it's not... Uh, it's not been great, Shamrock, as we said, uh, but he's uh, he's managed to maintain his position in the team through what the heck was that? Uh, ball three, no strikes so far. Yeah, no, you have another one. Yeah, okay, good. What are you going to do with this last one? That's adequate, and uh, that gets Shamrock onto first base as the runner advances to second, and uh, Bulldozer Power now have two runners. Uh, on the field uh, with Veronica Hammock hoping to capitalise on what is quite a strong position. Well, she swung long, but it's not long. It's uh, it's high. Yep, that one knocked out a floodlight and then was caught out on the way back down. And Veronica's going to go for a bit of a sit. And uh, that brings up uh, no pressure failure. Uh, he's with his tiny, tiny little old glasses. And um, let's see what he's made of. That's inside. Ball one. Well, he had a go for that, and it's gone to a very good place. Uh, that's going to be a run, and failure gets a double. Bulldozer power there taking the lead for the first time today. And uh, Ulysses failure having shown them how it's done. Here comes Steve Morrie, who's already shown them how it's done. But uh, he has been known to show them how not to do it in the past. That's ball one. That's strike number one. Strike two, Steve Morrie, calm under pressure. He's popped that one up, he's going to get caught, and that'll be the end of the uh, the inning there. Uh, but uh, we have scored a run, and that's a positive thing. <coughs> Obviously it's a positive thing, scoring runs is kind of what you want to do. Here's Nomad Gunslinger up for his second at bat. Uh, so far this season, uh, zero for one, he's being substituted. Uh, that's the end of the... Uh, the gunslinger era on the mound as Nick's blacksmith is going to be uh, taking his place as a pinch hitter. Designate, designated hitter, not pinch hit, designated hitter. The DH there. Yeah, okay, well, that's uh, strike one and ball one so far. There's strike two. What's it going to be? Where's the finishing move? That one was too low. That's not a good pitch, and uh, that's, that's, oh, flipping heck, Veronica. I mean, what's the matter with you? I mean, it's like you lost your bottle there at the last second. She, it's a terrible throw. Veronica is off her game, and that's a triple off that one. Oh, dearie me. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, it's Tyler Cram, third at bat. He's two for two today. His last was a double, and that one has, yeah. No. You managed to get nobody out there. If nothing else, take the easy out. That's a runner now on first, and uh, and Colonel School managing to get a run in there. Feels to me like the defensive unit needs to just calm down and play the ruddy game. Throw, uh, just yes, take the easy out. Always take the easy out. Right, one out now. All right, calm it down, relax, ease it back some, and uh, his hooker's tree ball. That one's gone foul. That one's gone too high, as was very clearly enunciated by the ump. Strike two. That one's popped up. Uh, Cindy's calling for it. Good for Cindy. And that's out number two. Jack Sharp now. They got walked last time. Through a bizarre series of, uh, of terrible pitches. And that one has gone foul. That one's gone long and up. Veronica's there. She's hoping to demonstrate she does still know how to field. And she gets the catch and that's done. Mr. Tempest is now coming in uh, as the uh, relief pitcher. Uh, he'll be fresh and bright and breezy. And the scores are all tied here in the bottom of the fourth inning. At, at the bottom of the fourth. It's Tintin Hollywood. And there's nothing like greeting a pitcher with a two-base hit there. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Tintin trundling his way up to second. Lovely job. 
a good uh, a good solid double to start us off here in the fourth. Uh, here's the professor again. Uh, he's still in good shape, and uh, uh, let's not forget he got a double last time around as well. Not this time, though. He's gone for the fence. It's not going to be long enough. I tell you, the professor is nothing but aggro. Uh, he's aggro on the mound. He's aggro from the plate. Aggro is where he's at. Cindy Vapid now. Back to the top of the batting order. That's ball one. Suck on that, you bearded freak. Cindy smacks it up to centre field and uh, gets herself on base, advancing Tint into third. Scoring position now for Bulldozer Power. If Bingo can find his way through the night time and the darkness. Well, he's certainly trying to find his way through the night time and the darkness with that strike, which has gone for a home run. Three runs for Bulldozer Path. Uh, Bingo Hazmat there, making up for his first at bat by slapping in a 400 foot homie. Well done, homie. Jolly good show. Here's, uh, here's Bam Bam, and she too uh, would benefit from, uh, from being able to accomplish something. Well, she decided late to strike at that one, and it went foul as a result. I just strike it, swing at it, is probably the terminology one wants to use. Uh, that's ball two, strike one now. There's ball three, bam bam, unfazed. And that's strike two. And bam bam puts that one cleanly to right field. She'll get on base as well. Bulldozer power now, maybe starting to find their rhythm a little bit, but it's possibly too soon to say. But I'm saying it anyway, too soon or otherwise. It's probably why I use the word possibly. Could be. Uh, Shamrock bubble jet now. He's uh, hit the first one foul. Second one's gone. Too low, but Shamrock has tried for that elusive centre field home run. And there it is. Off the bit of black plasterboard they've got at the back of the stadium there. That's hiding up an accident they had previously. One imagines they're probably going to want to fit some seats there at some point, uh, but they haven't put them in yet. I mean, the ticket revenue from that alone would make it worth doing. And here's Veronica Hammock. Oh, no, they've decided Mr. Tempest is rubbish. Honza Taverna is coming on in his place. Mr. Tempest there not even making it through a single inning. Well, Veronica under a bit of pressure now. Nothing from her so far today. Counts one and one. She's gone for the fence. It's not going to be enough. Uh, but uh, but she does reasonably well. She's making a play for a double off this and gets there. Veronica Hammock on second. Is the six failure. It's been 100% successful so far today. And uh, let's see if this can continue. Ball one. Kind of a sidearm throw here from the pitcher. Uh, failure as a swinger. He's going to get caught out in left field. That's two outs now for Bulldozer Power and Steve Morris in. With his big grin and his big shades and his big pie-eating belly. Woof! Well, yes, woof indeed. Uh, a nice big hit there, but it was foul, so uh, you can hardly claim it. That one's gone to centre field, though, uh, which will advance Steve onto base. And that's runners now first and third. Bulldozer Power in a decent position once again. Ready to score. Content in. Uh, Capitalise on this. No real pressure to be had, of course, because uh, there is a commanding lead. Tintin does well. Knocks in another run. And Bulldozer Power are, uh, are starting to ease gently into a big lead as the Professor's up for his third at bat. And uh, he didn't do so well last time. But he was going very aggressively for a home run because there's nothing that disappoints opposing teams more than the, oppo than the enemy pitcher getting a homie. Hi. No. That's uh, ball one, strike one now for the professor. No. And that's ball two. It was fast, but it was low. Oh, he was suckered well and truly by that strike two. Oh, and an error, but is it enough? No, the professor gets on base and the bases are now loaded, which brings up an opportunity for Cindy Vapid to do some mighty damage with her mighty swing. She mightily leaves that one alone. She mightily decided she didn't like the looks of that. Or that one. Cindy, mighty. Bosh, caught out. Mighty disappointment that was. 
Uh, but at the end of the fourth inning, Bulldozer Power now lead nine runs to three. And uh, Cappy Snaggles is up next uh, in the hope that uh, she can do something of note here. No, I'm, I'm not joking. I mean, that's going to be bad for your, your flipping um, posture. That's the word I was after. I was I was confused. Cindy's got a ball thrust first. Out. Cappy Snaggles there. Wasting no time in getting herself out. Here's uh, Lando Sandwalker. I can't bear to look at him. Uh, so let's let's get him out quickly, shall we? Strike one. The professor taking no prisoners. Uh, he's still looking like he's got plenty left in the tank. If you consider that the tank is his arm, and the amount that would be in it is the amount of arm he can use before throwing nothing but really terrible pitches. I mean, he's thrown quite a few terrible pitches already, but that's largely down to aim more than anything else. That's effectively the fourth strike now, as the last two have gone uh, gone foul. Uh, as has the fifth one. Well, I mean, this, this Sandwalker clown, he's, he's certainly using up what few pitches remain. Yeah, you might throw your, your bat away, son, but that's because you suck. Sit down. Here's DJ Pulchardy, and uh, he's going to be trying to hit the ball. Because that's the aim of the game. It's gone up. Steve's there. He's having a look. And he's caught it. That's out number three. Uh, the, uh, the fielding team having barely taken to the field there. Three up, three down is the thing that we like because there's points associated with it. And here comes Bingo Hazmat, who uh, now has a home run under his belt today. That's where he keeps them. That's a nice hit, and that one could go. It is a home run off the corner pole. Oh, you don't see that very often. And uh, there he goes, uh, Bingo Hazmat. is just making it look easy now. Uh, going like, yeah, I let six pitches pass me first time round. Now I'm just smacking in homers. Uh, here's Bam Bam. She's made one on base so far today. What's it going to be this time? That's ball two. That one was way too low. That one was too low. Ball three. And Bam Bam gets a walkie-talkie over to... Uh, well, she gets a walkie to the first base, where she'll have a talkie with the first baseman. Trying to throw them off their, uh, their game. And that's another pitcher who is being sat down. Uh, Honza Taverna is out of here. Banjo Roquefort is up next. Uh, also leaving the fields, uh, put DJ Pulchade is leaving. And Monte Rico is coming in. Well, it's all changed here uh, for, uh, the, for the Colonel School. They're going to be hoping that they can accomplish something. Oh, that one was not a good one to swing at. Uh, Shamrock Bubble Jet making a poor decision. Hi. Flipping at the, the curve on this thing is savage. Well, that was probably the worst idea to swing it out. It's gone foul. It's going to be caught. And uh, Shamrock goes to sit down, uh, bringing up Veronica. Got a double last time, uh, which uh, will have re re restored her confidence a little bit. She's got a good chunk of that one, but it's too short, and she's out. Okay, right, well, you know, that's life. It happens. Sometimes you swing for the fences and come up short. Other times you don't swing for the fence, but get over the fence and go long. Doesn't really mean anything. Oh, well, that's the side retired, but failure was caught on what can only be described as a diving catch, because that's what it was. Uh, here's He's Mew. Had a home run today, looking uh, still quite nervous. You would imagine that he would be looking a little bit more confident with the performance he's managed to put in so far. But uh, no, nervous is what he looks. Strike one. The professor still uh, firing uh, firing a volley of sound pitch. Oh, that one's rubbish. He could, have, he could have made some kind of defensive move there to stop the ball. But no, he has advanced to first base. Bringing up Monte Rico, uh, who is uh, who's in in place of DJ. And... Uh, I mean, look at the state of him, honestly. Right, well, you know, you can't uh, you can't choose people. That's interesting. Well, we uh, we got one out there. Uh, it, 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 there was quite a decent amount of force on the on the hit, uh, but bam, bam, through the second and uh, gone out there. And you, you want to know who's batting? This is Tola Cram again for uh, for another another swing of the pony. Uh, go straight over Tintin's head. He could have put some effort into that, but didn't. Uh, Failure's trying to figure out where he should throw it. And he throws to second. 
Runners now second and third as uh, as Nexus Nexus is up to uh, to give things a go. And we'll see exactly what comes of this. That's not bad, but it has gone to Cindy, who's going to throw to home, which was a bad idea. Could have got an out, but instead didn't get an out. Through to the wrong base there. Uh, runners now first and third. One out. And a fresh count. And it's Hooker's tree ball. Ball one. Oh, Shamrock with almost making an incredible uh, defensive move there. Managed to stop it going any further and just looked confused uh, as he wasn't certain what he should do with the ball after he'd got it. So, as though he, he'd kind of lost track of where people were. That one's gone up into the awkward, difficult centre. Oh, flipping heck. Veronica misses a third. And you have to question whether she is, in fact the right person to be playing centre field. We know Zoltan Zoltan was awful at bat, but uh, it's just it's just bad news. Cappy Snaggles now at bat. That uh, first one's gone foul. Uh, that, one's, that one's been chipped up. Bingo's under it. Has it. And that's out number two. Uh, backs against the wall now for, uh, for Bulldozer Power as they are hoping to be able to retire the team who still have two runners on base at the current time. Uh, a score here would really narrow the lead. I'm building tension, you see. All right, see, uh, I want to keep you on the edge of your seat while the, while the game's going well. That's ball one from the Professor. Strike one, ball, no, ball one now. Professor's starting to get a bit tired, but it doesn't matter. That's another strikeout, and hopeless McUgly face is, uh, is told to go and park himself on a bench and then get back out there with his glove because uh, these CR side is now fielding. Uh, the score halfway through the sixth inning is uh, Bulldozer Power 10, Colonel School 6. Here's Steve Morrie. Having a good day so far. And continues to do so as that one heads up to centre field. He'll only get a single from it, but uh, only getting a single from it is all I require of people. Here's Tintin. <coughs> Well, that was ill-advised, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, strike one. That one went foul. That one very clearly inside. Tintin leaving it alone. That one clearly outside. Tintin was uh, not full. That one very outside. Tintin's looking in disgust at the pitcher. And then he has a go at that, which is going to bring up the full count as that one's gone foul. Now, where are we? Oh, it could be trouble. Tintin's out, but failure manages to get on to second base, uh, which is an advantage for him there. Now, do we sub the professor? Because he does need subbing. No, we're going to leave him in. The decision comes down. He's going to be left in. He's out. No, Dad, I mean, it was a great piece of fielding, but he was caught out there. Uh, Cindy Vapid now, last, last hope for this inning. And that's very nice. Cindy no longer the last hope for this inning. There is now further hope for this inning. Runners, first, third. Uh, sorry, it wasn't failure or advanced second. It was Steve Morrie. Sorry, uh, an error on my point. Oh, it's uh, Bingo Hasbat now. Two home runs, Bingo Hasbat. That one's ball one. Bingo, not fault. That's ball two. Bingo, not interested. That's strike one. Bingo, not swinging. That's ball three. Three and one now the count. Bingo Hazmat. Strike two. Well, we're here again. And forces an error. And that's another run. Bingo Hazmat there. Getting lucky enough to be able to get on base. Uh, dodges a potential humiliation on that one. And here's Bam Bam. And if there was a time for Bam Bam to pull out a nice move, this would be it. Well, obviously not that pitch. You know, when there's a good pitch and stuff. And she's gone for that one, but no, it's not. It bounced, and that loads up the bases. Well, high drama now, and it's up to Shamrock's somewhat erratic bubble jet to do something with it. That's ball one. That's ball two. Shamrock there, facing it down. 
That's not bad. That's going to be a run. That's gone to centre field. And uh, another run for Bulldozer Power is uh, super duper. Base is still loaded as uh, Veronica Hammock, who has been... Well, let's, I mean, let's face it. She is at risk of losing her centre fielder position unless she can do something here. Well, she can get the entire team out. Good job, Veronica. Good job. Yep, well done. You know, I'm starting to think about bringing Zoltan back because he's been gone long enough that I've forgotten whether he's any good or not. Uh, it's Banjo Roquefort, the relief pitcher, who's, uh, who's come in. Oh, look at him, and he's, he's so dapper. Oh, he's, uh, he's been substituted. Okay, all right. We've got Latoya Bullseye, who's, uh, who's in place to uh, do a bit of... Uh, 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 what's it, batting? Designated batting. Yes. Anyway, she got a hit. Feetum now, starting to fade. Uh, here's He's Mew. Uh, well, I think... I think we're going to try... We're going to see against He's... Uh, Feetum has thrown 76 pitches so far today. Uh, we'll see what we can do against He's Mew, but if he gets on base, Feetum can sit down. Well, he's going to not only get on base, he's going to get a little bit further than that uh, as he manages to get the uh, the runner advanced to third. And uh, up comes Monte Rico. And out goes Feetum. He's done his damage for today. And it's Tulip Banter up in the relief pool. No, it's not. She came in last time. What about, how's Sally Rhythm looking? She's looking all right. What about Oscar? Oscar looks pretty capable. You reckon? Yeah. So Oscar Cattle Prod, everybody. We don't see him very often. He's only got two pitches to play with, uh, but we'll see what he can do with them. There we go. That's out number one. Uh, attempted steal there, and for once, the team had their wits about them sufficiently to throw to the correct base. Cindy with a d completely pointless dive there. That's going to be a run uh, for Colonel School. Uh, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, they've got one out left to be had. And uh, Tola Cram's up. Tola Cram having a pretty pretty effective day. Has been. Oh, no, sorry. They've only got one out. Oh. And Tola Cram is having a pretty effective day. Yeah. Uh, we'll leave him alone. That's all right. Well, okay. That's, uh, yeah, that's uh, a hit that's going to get them two bases. As the runner heads to third. We've got runners now second and third. And uh, that's uh, that's bringing up Nexus, who's also having a pretty successful occasion at the moment. But that is strike one. Okay, now then, uh, can uh, can the cattle prod maintain his? Ooh, that was that was angry. Uh, we'll do another one of those to the other corner. See how she likes that. Bad pitch. It's gone high. Uh, I don't think it's got the length. Veronica is stood there. She has the ball. They're going to advance bases, so that's going to be another run anyway. Uh, but that is the second out for the team now. now Hooker's tree, boy. He actually managed to get a hit last time. Probably luck. I guess a hit this time as well. That's uh, That's gone to centre field. Veronica's got it. Throws to second, but that's another run. Uh, the, the bulldozer power lead now cut now to three. Number 22, the center fielder. Here's Jack Sharp center field uh, which is exactly where he hits it Veronica's there but is not anywhere near no that's a flipping home flipping run flipping oh dearie me well it's uh, Colonel Scholar rallying here we, uh, we can't necessarily point the finger of blame at the pitcher because they are fresh as well a daisy uh, it's Cappy Snaggles who uh, may be trying to uh, level things up as Colonel Scholar now only one run behind but it's not going to be enough that's the side retired, and uh, Latoya Bullseye, Bullseye is going to sit down as Carlo T. Curious is coming in to pitch. Five runs there for Colonel School in that inning. Uh, could not have gone worse. Well, it could have done if they'd got six runs, I suppose, but uh, there it is. Failure there, wasting no time in getting out. Good. That's the last thing we want is to, to waste any time. It's Steve Morrie. Steve with a big hit. It's good enough. Steve's going to wisely stay on first base. We don't want to tire him out. We know how quickly he can become exhausted. It's Tintin Hollywood, two out of four uh, for his batting appearances today. And he's uh, he's put, batted a run in as well, which is charming. And that's a nice hit from Tintin. And that's out to left field. And that's now runners on first and second. Ball has power, threatening once again. 
I don't know what they're threatening, but they're threatening it anyway. Here's Oscar Cattleprod. He's, he's, he's probably not the best batter on the team. If I had any sense, I'd sit him down and get someone who could bat. That's a strike one there for Oscar. Oscar there, uh, flapping that one into the sky. Runners uh, returning to their bases before it's even landed. And uh, that's Oscar out. That's now two outs for the team. Here's Cindy Vapid. Again, the opportunity to be the hero. And that's a good hit. And that will load up the bases again. Uh, once more, uh, Bulldozer Power. Three runners on base with Bingo Hazmat coming up. Now, Bingo has already done a lot. The pressure on this legendary batter is extreme. That's ball one. Bingo leaving it alone. He's not leaving that alone. He's done enough to get a run in. And, uh, and the bases remain low dead as uh, Bam Bam Puckeye once again with the opportunity uh, for a bit of redemption here. Oh, steady on there, Tiger. That one went straight at Bam Bam. It's going to leave her legion of fans decidedly disappointed um, because no one throws a ball at Bam Bam. Anyway, that's another run. Shamrock Bob Jets is, uh, is next up team making the most out of having the bases loaded but that's that's going to be the end of that caper was it it wasn't the end of that caper shamrock did enough to get on base we get another run and uh and more than that it's now up to veronica hammock to uh seal the dish oh, flipping just i'm not gonna look yeah there you go side retired veronica hammock there Second uh, for the second inning in succession, getting the entire team out when uh, we were in massive scoring position. Here's the Hobbit, and uh, he's... Uh, here we go. With his tiny little face. Cindy with another dive. We haven't really mastered this whole diving business in... Uh, in the uh, in the slips there, it's, it's not Kyle too. It's Carlo curious. Is he staying in or are they going to they're going to sling him? They're slinging him and bringing in Slim Francisco, who is the uh, the backup uh, catcher. And he ain't that slim. I suspect that's why they call him Slim because he isn't. See, it's a, it's one of those ironic names. Could have attempted the double play there, but instead went for the soft out. And uh, any out is a good out. Here's he's Mew. Having a very successful uh, period of batting today. And that one's gone reasonably well. Bam Bam's all oh, uh, made a total dog's dinner of that. That's going to be a run in at least. And, uh, well, he it, it blocked the, the, uh, the ball's trickle into the outfield by throwing herself madly in front of it. Uh, but it actually ended up possibly giving up more territory than would otherwise have been done. It's Monte Rico at bat now. And uh, he's chewing the cud. We'll milk him later. All uh, right, here we go. And that's gone to Bam Bam. She's going to throw a second. Going to throw a first. Well, there's only one out, but uh, it was the advanced runner that has been removed, and Tola Cram is up once again. Well, yeah. Right, there you go. Given that he'd probably get on base anyway... Throwing it at his head seemed like a sensible thing to do. Is Nexus, Nexus, Nexus. Uh, for future reference, don't throw it at their head. They're wearing a helmet on that bit, and therefore it's not going to do much damage. Uh, Nexus has smacked this one into right field. Failures underneath it. He gets the catch aside for tight. Um, right, Slim Francisco leaves. Saturn Mist is now coming in uh, as, uh, as another relief pitcher. I, mean, I don't know how much relief they think they need, but evidently it's quite a lot of it. Failure introducing himself to the ball there. Well, okay, that's good. One on one is the count. That's uh, ball. Ball. Ball three now. Failure says, oh. And the ball goes foul. And failure says, boom. And, uh, and it goes out to, well, it goes out to centre field. I mean, hardly warranting a boom there. But, uh, but there we go. Yeah. Bottom of the eighth inning now. Failure on base. Steve Mori up to bat. He's four of five today. Evidently the time off has done him the power of good. 
I said that too soon. He struck at nothing there. Flipping heck, uh, uh, sat and missed really pitches like a clown. Uh, all over the place. Hi. That's uh, three balls now. That should not have swung at that one. And Steve's out. Uh, failure advances to second base. And here comes Tintin. That's another ball. Well, so far, Saturn Mist has thrown more illegal pitches than legal ones. Ball two. Yep, ball three. Tins is just, he's, he's got an expression on his face that just goes, what? Uh, strike one there. That one was strike two. Would have been, had it not been for the fact that Tintin has hit it into the gentleman's rest area where it has, uh, well, it's taken care of business and then washed its hands and used the hand dryer, which isn't isn't blowing quite as effectively as you'd like. But that's another two runs there for Bulldozer Power as uh, Oscar Cattleprod comes up. And we're going we're gonna to sub him out because he ain't pitching that well. And uh, apparently this is what people do. Uh, Jemima Hurts. Yeah, we've seen a lot of Jemima Hurts. We're going to bring in Big Rod McGurk. Number 19. Big Rod. Boom from Big Rod. Well, it's gone a long way center field. It's going to stay in bounds. No, it isn't. That's a home run. Thereby kind of suggesting that the uh, bringing in a, a really, uh, no, whatever it is, designated hitter there, uh, it was uh, was a smart move. Here's Cindy Vapid. One out for Bulldozer Power. And uh, that one's another ball. Well, you'd expect it really, wouldn't you? There's ball two. Sat and missed. Couldn't hit water if she fell out of a boat. Couldn't hit a barn door if she was sat on the handle. And Cindy gets to walk to first. No, it's all good. It all counts. As uh, as bingo, home run hazmat uh, comes up to, uh, to have a look and see what he can do here. Oh, well, there's uh, ball one. There's a shocker. Yeah, that's, uh, that's ball two. Saturn Mist is clearly on fire today. Bingo had a swing at that one out of charity. Yeah, that's uh, strike one. Ball two. How's that done? Not very well, if I'm honest. Uh, run out to second, but uh, but Bingo manages to get on base as uh, as Bam Bam now comes up to uh, to see if any of these pitches are in the strike zone. That one was, so she had a go. Is she going to make it? No, she didn't. That's out number three. It's bulldozer power retired. And uh, well, do we want Tulip or let's no? Let's bring on Sally Rhythm. She hasn't played in a while. Anyway, Bulldozer Power now lead by six, and this is the ninth inning. So uh, anything less than six runs from uh, from Colonel School, and it's all over. Sally Rhythm. Wallop. Strike one. Very nice. Clearly, clearly pitched before, which is why she's part of the pitching team, I imagine. Strike two, right in the bottom corner. Oh, dangerous. Deadly. Woefully efficient. And that one's gone deep into center field. Veronica could could have been there. Couldn't be bothered, though. Terrible fielding from Veronica Hammock again. Well, that's, uh, that's the first runner. And uh, no outs. Nothing good happening so far is Jack Sharp. Again, uh, that's going to be another base hit. And uh, they're going for... No, no, they didn't go for the run. Well, we're not taking any chances. We'll keep chucking it around the place. Cappy Snaggles. One of five so far for Cappy. But uh, knowing the way that these games tend to uh, operate... Hold on. Steve Morris underneath it. And that's out number one. Here's Lando, the Hobbit Sandwalker. And uh, he's also one of five so far today. And we'll see what he can do with this. He can have a hit. Shamrock's there. Throws to third. Second and something. Well, they got a run, but that's another one out. Uh, so far, so good. One out remaining. His Saturn missed, who I imagine will be substituted. And Vito Bale is coming in. All right, Vito. He's having a, he's having a good solid bat waggle there. Let's throw it somewhere else for a change. There you go. That one's gone foul. Strike one. Really? Which which you prefer? Oh, I know. Let's 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 mix it up a bit with a change up. That one has uh, well, it's not got the distance. Bingo's there. Bingo's got a catch. Side retired. Bulldozer power win for the third week running. Bulldozer power 
have, uh, have made mugs of the opposition. And uh, that keeps them well and truly in contention. 30 hits, plays 22. Uh, Bordeaux's power obviously not need to bat because they already won the game. Uh, Tyler Cram had a pretty good day. Uh, but it was, uh, well, we we're looking at Sharp. I'd say it was probably the most effective batter that they had with a 3 2 4 average. Over on the uh, Bulldozer Power side of things, uh, Shamrock Bubblejet batted 6 2 5 today. Uh, he comes in for a lot of heat, but ultimately doesn't deserve it. Uh, from the pitching side of things, Feetum gets a win, Tempest gets the loss. Bingo Hazmat, unsurprisingly, is the star player for today's event, uh, with Tintin Hollywood Shamrock Bubblejet bringing up the honours. So, with games to play, 12 in fact, uh, let's get to it. Hold on, wait, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, never mind, let's get to it. Can we go through these one at a time, so that I can actually, you know, uh, feel, uh, can I get a taste for the, no, apparently I can't. Apparently you have to do it, you just have to hit the simulate button and suck on it. All right, here we go. It's the Nomads against Golden Eagles. Nomads taking an early lead, but the Golden Eagles win that 2-1. to one. Sloths beat the Ducks 1-0. to zero. Uh, Cheerio Inc., undefeated so far this season, stuffed the Ocelots 8-2. to two. Here's the Steganauts against Failure Wood Hills, and the Failure Wood Hills win the game. Colonel School now, hoping to bounce back, playing Bumson Hospital, and uh, they, they rack up 12 runs there, winning quite nicely. Golden Eagles against the Kings, 4-2. to two. The Sloths now versus the Miggins Pirates, and... Uh, that one went 10 to 1 in favour of the Sloths. Fayward Hills versus the Nomads. And the Nomads come from behind, come from a long way behind to win that 9 to 7. 7 to 9 has beat the Ocelots, incidentally. Cheerio Inc. still undefeated uh, against Failure Grad FC. And, uh, and, and win that 14 to 7. Here's the Bloody Jesters against the Bumson Hospital. And they win that 7 to nothing. Here's the Steganauts against the Ducks. The Ducks running away with it. 10 to 1. Oh no, is, is that it? Are we done? Can I stop now? Well, with that victory, uh, Waldo's of Power are now no longer in last place. Bumps and Hospital now four and six. Waldo's of Power four and five. So a, a win in the next one uh, will tie them with the Steganauts. Cheerio Inc., of course, at the top of the tactical division are 10 and zero right now uh, with a plus 57 run difference, which is exceptional. Megan's Pirates bring up the rear in the smoothing division with Colonel School Duck Force ahead of them and FC Failuregrad leading the way. In the Tree Gun division, it's, uh, well, it's, it's still wide open as the Hong Kong Kings and Bloody Jesters are currently on the verge of being tied. The Kings are now facing, I believe, Bulldozer Power is the last game that remains to be played in this particular setup. The Ocelots are largely eliminated from runnings uh, of a an important competitive nature being on one and nine. In the Bombastic, it is the Nomads ahead of the Golden Eagles, uh, but only by run difference at the current times they are both on seven wins, with the, six, uh, the seven of Niners on six wins and the Sloths just behind them with five. Very competitive division is the Bombastic. Yes, it is. Very competitive indeed. Very, very competitive. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure, and uh, let's have a look. Who we got next? We have got the Hong Kong Kings next. They are contact specialists. Spock Bumson, you can't, you can't have Spock Bumson on the team. Spock Bumson plays for Bumson Hospital, so that's incredibly obvious. Uh, and, okay, Spock Bumson will be removed from the team before the next game, and we'll put someone else in instead. Uh, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch up with you next time. Cheerio. Well, would you believe it? An actual bulldozer power winning streak. Uh, one would have not thought it possible were it not for the fact that I made it slightly di slightly easier and uh, and suddenly started scoring a few runs. Oh well, I mean, I I mean, I could I could knock it back up to fifty and see if I've all of a sudden remembered how to play properly. In the original series, I was playing at fifty five, if not higher. I know. And for some reason, I was playing all right. But uh, but no, this time around, apparently not not so much. So uh, I've, I've gotten rusty, or the game's gotten harder, or something along those lines. But whatever it is, there it is. Uh, we're going to stick at 49 for one more, and then we'll, we'll review the situation. Meanwhile, however, controversy, as uh, Veronica Hammock has a stinker. Now, do we, do we get rid of her and bring Zoltan back in? I mean, Veronica can't field. I mean, she's only got little feet. She doesn't get around that quick. Uh, whereas Zoltan can't bat. Uh, and I, I don't have an excuse for him on that front. So, I mean, you know, register your opinion in this controversial moment here and uh, sling in the comments and I'll, I'll give it the, uh, the kind of attention that it warrants.
Yes.